Let's try a reverse dip today. So if you're not familiar with the reverse dip, it's a technique that was popularized by Fiona from Fiona Art, and it involves putting your paints down on a canvas or on a tile, and then you place a tissue or plastic wrap flat on top of it, and then pick it up to reveal a very interesting pattern. So we're starting off with a wet base. All the paints that I'm using today are mixed somewhere between two and three parts of pouring medium. And I'm giving you a range because not all pouring mediums have the same consistency. Uh, to be safe, to play it safe, go for like two and a half parts of pouring medium to one of paint to get the best results, to get a nice middle ground between those two. If you're a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner, it won't be too much of a problem. But yeah, somewhere between two and three parts. There are no additives in any of this. We're not going to be using any oils or uh, anything outside the pouring medium and uh, the paint. And next, we'll start putting our paint on the canvas. So I'm using this pink first. What we're going to do is we're going to put them in the center and just pour it straight down so it forms a circle. And we're going to do multiple layers. So I'm using a pink and azo yellow and titanium white. And we will repeat this several times to get multiple layers of the colors and this will help us get a lot of smooth gradients when we do the actual dip part. You will have quite a bit of paint pooled in the middle so feel free to tilt this around. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle by the time you're done um, but it's best to spread out the paint now because it will be harder to do so once you've created your pattern. So once you're happy set it back down and grab your tissue or plastic wrap and you're essentially just placing it flat on the painting so but don't press it down like don't try to flatten it completely so it all makes contact with the paint as you start to lift things will start to happen so i want you to see what i'm doing i'm pulling one corner towards the center and then the next corner and one hand will keep hold of the corners while the other will pick them up. I'll switch hands so you can see what I'm doing. So here's the third corner into the hand in the middle, fourth corner, and then you pick it all up straight up. Now there are fun and creative ways that you can create different patterns and it all really depends on how you pick up the tissue off the canvas. Um, which direction you go in, what kind of motion you do. You could even twist it a little bit as you pick it up. But yeah, that's essentially the reverse step. Now let me see how much movement I have. This will kind of give you an indication on whether it will dry okay or not. If it's moving a lot, that means you still had a lot of canvas paint on the canvas. You will want to, before you get to the dip part, sort of try and reduce the amount of paint by tilting it around. All right, so let's take a quick minute to let you know that we have an online course, a comprehensive acrylic pouring online course on my website called Acrylic Pouring for Beginners. If you want to learn everything sort of from start to finish and have a comprehensive idea of how to do this as opposed to pockets of knowledge from different people on the internet, I encourage you to check it out. I'll leave the link for it on the screen right now. And that's the reverse dip. This was G. I'll see you guys soon.